gon' bring it to the table. Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with that boy Malachi. My son, Trey. My oldest son and my youngest son, my only sons. What's going on, man? What's Pretty up? good. What's man, up? so, man, hey, man, Merry Christmas. Same to you, same to you. Man, what you getting for Christmas, man? What you getting me? I don't know. You got to see. Oh, yeah. That's what's <laughs> up, man. What's up? What's up, man? Talk to me. Pretty good. Nothing much. Nothing much? Mm-mm. So what you get? What you get? What you got me some for Christmas on that tree? Yes. Man, thanks, bro. I'm getting old, man. I can't say the same for you. I didn't. I, I'm, I'm tired. Me and Shamari both got like close to the same thing. <laughs> it's all good, man. Thank you for thinking about me, man. So, man, um, yeah, about to uh, wrap. Uh, pretty much, uh, started uh, tearing some of these gifts apart here in a minute. Uh, so. Let's get into it, man. Uh, man, Merry Christmas to everybody out there, man. We love you guys, man. We thank you guys for liking and subscribing to our channel, man. Boss Talk 101 is a thing, man. Hey, man, you already know what happened this year, man. You know what happened this year. Hey, man, it happened to me, man. Shout out to that boy, uh, Papa Die from the Barbershop, man. Uh, yeah, all my all my real homies that been sticking down with me, they call me early in the morning, man, because you know I be up grinding. Holla at your boy, man. Uh, man, so, man, so... What would you say was your best episode this this uh, this, this this year? You know, um, we we just, we we got four hundred and fifty of them. The best and counting, uh, probably Wadi Too Live. Wadi Too Live. That was yeah, your favorite. That's probably my. Favorite. You know, they feed up negative. Yeah, anyway. of course. You know, like I said, I I think I was telling Low uh when he interviewed on here by Yellow when he got shot. You know, yeah. it ups your value, and and I think a lot of times people don't really know their value to begin with. But yeah. once you get all those eyes on you, if you don't capitalize on the situation, if God bring you through it, then you you just went through. Most people. Once they go through something, it, they excel. Even with, with Kanye when he, you know, had the car wreck or if there was a time when somebody was going through something. Like even when Pac got, got shot the first time, that's way before y'all time. You young niggas yeah. don't know nothing about that. <laughs> but, but when he got shot the first time, he put eyesight on him. So, you know, it's just basically when you go through things and God bring you through, you know, a lot of times, you know, he giving you a warning, but also, you know, it may be a blessing in disguise. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To make it through and, and, and just to see what you're going to do with it. How do you think that life has changed since you went through that? I mean, it really just made me more aware. You yeah, know? that's probably my favorite one. Man, yeah. what did you lie, man? I'm R.I.P. Water, man. Uh, man, what, that whole uh, 2-4. Uh, yeah, the whole 2-4 game. Was yeah, good. yeah, yeah, that whole camp over there, man. Shout out to them boys. Merry Christmas, 2-4. Who would you say, man? Who would you I, say, Malachi? Malachi, who was your favorite episode, man? Was it when the uh, when when all the hoorah happened and everybody stormed out there? Was you here that day? No. And thank God, right? Like you didn't want to be a part of that, right? Nope. <laughs> so, what was your favorite episode? I think my favorite episode was one was the Seco P. Seco P. Yeah, sure. For real, man. Seco P, man. Uh, Tampa. Hot damn, baby. You see what I'm saying? And the, and the guy and a lot of the people that's talking has never achieved these things. I, I have checked the many of them to say, y'all ain't, I ain't seen it. <laughs> hey, I, I, let, let me just say that we, we got a gold plaque. You know what I'm saying? No features. No I'll features. Say no features. Let me see that. Hey, let me see I'm that. I'm keeping thing. the bean with you. I'm gold, keeping the bean with you. Gold plaque. Check that out. I got it gold right plaque. here. No yeah. features. No features. Yeah, I, these hey, guys no, is. Hey, no, no, no internet beef behind it. No none nothing. of that. Just straight work. Straight work. I wrote that. Work. Hey, I, wrote, I wrote. I wrote that two years ago. Focus. You gotta be focused to do that. Focus. That's Man, it. that's beautiful, bro. You got. How many people do that? Well, you got a few, but they don't. It don't happen all the time. Okay. I it just need to be popular, bro. I'm not no popular yeah, rapper right now. Yeah. Yeah. But no. I know my. But I know this song popular. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know your yeah. work right. I know. <laughs> I know what it's doing for me. So. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That boy. That, hey, when TikTok crazy. Mm -hmm. 2021, hey man, over over 15 th million uh, views. Um, man, I you said who was my favorite man? I had a bunch of favorites, man. I had a lot of dope people to come on this platform. What's the craziest thing that happened to you, uh, as far as uh, when a, a person see you that that that? It's crazy, no. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but when they see you, like, what's the craziest thing? How they approach? I was in Oklahoma this past weekend. Uh, dispensary booked me. Okay, I was at a retreat. 
And I jump out because people don't. I'm the most down to earth brother you ever meet. I talk to anybody. They couldn't believe it. I'm walking through, like, no security on there. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm walking through. Like, hey, bro, that's, that's him. Dope. That's him. I'm like, yeah, that's me, bro. How you doing? My fucking God, it's him. Y'all got bubble dub. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I watch your fucking videos. It's you. It's you. Even, 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 even with Charles. Eight time platinum, according to what they. I'm reading it right. I'm trying. Because I was in here, you know, nice. tripping off of Mr. Lee. Now nah, we ten times. Is nah. it ten now? I'm diamond. Diamond. Diamond, diamond boys. Man, I, I, I not, and I knew, you know, like I said, I seen you with the song with Gucci. I was like, this dude, they're working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This ain't not, this is that now. You know what I'm saying? This that here and now. So how is it, you know, as far as being from, you from Houston, mm -hmm. looking back at what was and what is now, how, how do you feel like the music is doing? Uh, Well, first and foremost, we had to force it. Like, okay. I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and act like, Back in the day, acquiring a feature was the easiest thing yeah. to do. Like, I mean, it was people I reach out to, try to pay. They wouldn't even take the money just because wow. of the music we was making. We wasn't making. I didn't came down, yeah. pop my trunk. Yeah, down. typical Texas. Yeah, I, I, I wanted him back because hey, man, he he blessed me the first time when he came. And it was a it was a special movement, man. My boy Mike Jones is back in the house, man. Hey, how y'all doing, man? How y'all doing, man? man? What's up, Mike? Man, chilling, chilling, man. You man, know every time I see you, you come through, man. Somebody man. gonna tell me some different Mike done did to help them out, man. Man, I'm just trying to, you know, Bro, that that's crazy. I'm just trying to show love and just, you know, be an inspiration. I think that's the best thing. I, I think that would be to somebody. That'd be the most most like thing that I didn't expect with Mike Jones when I because you don't see that part as you see Mike Jones you just think of the big artist you don't think about the fact that this dude be really out here helping people the yeah. knowledge that he has he's sharing with others no, 100, that's man. crazy like, I think like a lot of people around me for sure know like we really it's a line like we really know the difference between perception and reality Check it, man. International man, shout man. PJF shout is in the building, man. What's going on? I'm here now. Say, I, man. I, I ain't just Miami, I got ties in Texas too. Say, what time now? Watch it for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you got ties in Texas? Got ties out of Funky Town, man. Really? Nobody. Tell me how you came up with the name PGF. Yeah, Shout. Man. PGF, um, it's been my um, my family for a long time. It stands for Put God First. You know, we've always had a strong belief in the high God, you know. It's always been behind us, so we always took that and ran with it. And um, became a family, put a bunch of um, different organizations behind it. We got promotion companies, we got film companies, we got kennels. Uh, you can see PGF everywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? It's and PGF Global. When I like, East Texas is big, but it's separated. If you're in Texas County and we pushing the artists in Texas County, people in Lufkin don't know a damn thing about the artists in Texas County because it's so far away. That's over, that's over 150 miles away down there from Lufkin to Texas County, but that's still East Texas. That's why I say East Texas is bigger than Dallas as a whole. We bigger than DFW Metroplex as a whole, East Texas is. That's why we rip it like that, East Texas, because we bigger. Like, we East Texas as a whole is bigger than the DFW is, right? Now. Like, it's more people there. Well, I, 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 it's more cities and everything. I don't know about this. I, yeah, no, no, I, I, I know. I got a picture. It's I got big. a picture. I'm going to show you a picture. It's something, no, it's something to think about. Yeah. But let me ask you this. Do you feel like... Uh, do you feel like like who's next in East Texas? Man, we, it's a lot of artists down there I, popping, I, man. I mean, you got Smoothie and you got Smitty and 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 you got GGO Kurt going hard. He was CJ Casino them in Houston with all them and everything. Just did a video with uh, Young and Ace, all that. Who else? Man, you got him. You got BTDHP. You had Luce Ace, Free Luce Ace. Um, you got fucking uh, the Journey. You got hey, uh, you got Al D. You know you what I'm saying? Camp. You got camp. Yeah, you got camp nowhere. We're making songs with Wycliffe. Yeah, Cliff. exactly. So, so what are you making songs with Wycliffe? Seco P. Seco P. 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 You Gates know what I'm saying? saying? Yellow Beezy. Yeah, it's a you lot of people. You make doing some yeah. features with different artists, man. Yeah. It's a lot of heat from down there. Yeah, they just keep on trying. Every time we say we got to, oh, I don't hear nothing, I don't hear nothing. They lying. They lying. Point blank period, they lying. 
um, gave out a lot of awards, man. Nancy Determination and Impeccable Service, high, Helping Young People Excel Foundation, Internet Sensation. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and and, and, and this, this is what I want to highlight. Uh, uh, Green Room TV, uh, Lou Broly After Dark, uh, Say Cheese TV, mm -hmm. uh, they, they have done great interviews. Uh, but just the first grown up talk show out of me. Man, I love it, man. That's why we yeah, try to yeah, put it yeah, out just, there. Like just, that, just the first, just the grown up, just the first grown up talk show uh, that's looking for the man, the character, uh, the dignity and integrity rather than just a sensation. Yeah, yeah. Boss Talk 101. Boss we talk. we still we recognizing giving roses out while you guys are here. Hey, man. man. And go it's ahead and read it so we can hear what it says. <laughs> it says presented to Mr. Corey Clout Cleghorn in recognition for all your work. Dedication, success with marketing and development in the music industry and beyond 2021. Hey, man. Hey. It, it is what it is. Hey. You know what I'm saying? You this, can't is going, this is going in a prominent spot in my <laughs> office. Okay, Mr. Corey Clout Clayhorn. Yes, ma'am. We here at Boss Talk 101 would love to present you with this award just to say how proud we are of all the work you've done over the years dealing with the artists making connections, marketing, like not crazy. only yourself, but marketing people, and really, really, really caring about artists and people development, really what you do. That's it. And we love you, and we thank you for all your hard work. You guys hey, are my family. Hey, man, we thank you guys. just giving our roses while we can, while we're here. You know what I mean, man? This is, we gave out an award, man, to I Push A Man Live, it. man. I see it. Man. Camera, Check I it out, man. It. Still underrated, it. man. He got award, man. Boss Talk 101, man. We That's we decided love. at this podcast, this this platform, we giving out roses to our people while they are here to receive them. Push A Man Live. Hey, that's me. Thank you for coming back here on our platform, Boss Talk 101. We appreciate you. I learned so much about you since our last interview. Yeah. And I respect you a lot about your craft and your education, the things you're doing in life. Don't give up. I love it. So we wanted to present you with this award for Still Underrated. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's real. That's so real. Yeah, yeah. Read it to it. What did it say? What did it say, Steph? You got to let it. What did it say? Present it. What? Present it to Push a Man Live, a.k.a. Mr. Roland Gilmore. This award is in recognition for your album, Still Underrated 2021. Yeah, appreciate yeah, right. you. Like, man, right. you know what I'm talking about. Hey, man. Hey, nice. Yeah, hey. Yeah, hey. Say, wow. man. Say, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Hey, you man. Man. Giving roses out yeah. while it's here. Presented to Mr. Jeremy Blackwell, a.k.a. Sergeant J, in recognition of producing Busted and Tooth That, and for the many years dedicated to the mu music industry, your hard work stands out. That's Appreciate what's up, that. man. Yeah, yeah you got to do something to show roses while people are here. Mr. Jeremy Blackwell, <laughs> a.k.a. everybody knows you as Sergeant J. Mm -hmm. We here at Boss Talk 101 would love to present you with this plaque to tell you thank you for the Busted, of course, because, yeah. you know, everybody was doing that challenge. Don't say that. To <laughs> Everybody you. was doing that challenge. <laughs> and toot that. And toot mm -hmm. that. But, um, and we all enjoyed it. They're still doing it. They're still sharing it. They're still, you know, but that enjoying beat was it. The beat was Definitely. awesome. Right. Appreciate that. Appreciate so, we'd just like to say thank you and present you this award. Thank you. For thank all the hard appreciate work. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sergeant J. Appreciate it. So, yeah. I gotta get a hug. Oh, you get a hug. Wait, you talking about a hug? I'm, I just shook the man's hand, man. <laughs> Say, man, we're giving our roses while people are here, man. We be trying to make a staple a point, and we've done it time and time again since we started the platform, you know, where we we do things in a way to where we try to figure <laughs> This man, something else. We try, we try to figure out how to, you know, we we came with this platform and we came with a way to where we wanted to give people roses while they were here. Mm -hmm. And I felt like this was what, what, you know, this is what we would do. This is dope, bro. I'm putting this in the studio. Yeah, and I, yeah. I, I appreciate y'all. Like y'all been so genuine. Like y'all been genuine outside of like this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us talking on the air, like, yeah. you know, you text me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna text like, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the family. Like, yeah. Like we like this shit. This is, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ronnie, we here at Boss Talk 101 would love to present you with this award. This is say thank you for all your hard work. And it says, presented to Lil Ronnie, AKA Mr. Ronnie Wright, in recognition to your many years of service to the rap industry, not only as a rapper, but also as a writer creating hit after hit, year after year. 2021. 2021. Jen, I appreciate that. Say, man. 
We're giving our roses while they're here, bro. Right. I'll let you about Soul 101. Um, what do y'all think about the show? How do you feel about it? How do you feel it's going? Not it's going up. Oh, it's going up? What do you think? Yeah, I know someone I think it's going pretty good, and we need to get um, 20, 20K before the end of the year. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can make that happen. All you got to do is tell the people. Look right in that camera and say, hey, man, make sure you guys subscribe. We trying to get to 20K by the end of the day, right? That's not only a week away. You got like 500 that you got to hit. But you could do it. So tell them. Let me see you tell them. And you could give them something if you want to. I don't know what you mean by door that. prize. What, what, we'll send you a baseball cap if if, uh, if you uh, I don't jumpsuit. know boss talk jumpsuit. Boss talk jumpsuit. You giving away the big dog. Uh, you know that but that boss talk jumpsuit got people uh, tripping. You're, everybody bought them though. Everybody got boss talk jumpsuits on. Shout out to uh, Mama Scott. No, Merry Christmas, Mama Scott and uh, Pop Johnson. Man, shout out to the, uh, Pop Johnson. Shout out to CCOP Mark. Uh, man, uh, it's just a host of people, man. Everybody, Eric, man. And I know I forgot some people, man. All the people that bought those joggers, the out-of-town people, Atlanta, uh, Be uh, Beijing, out of the country. Man, thank you guys for su for supporting Boss Talk, buying the hoodies and buying the joggers and just showing us love, man, this year, man. Shout out, shout out to everybody, Charleston White, all the people that supported this channel, man, all year long, man. Um so who you who do you who do you want to see on the show? Who do I want to see on the show? Yeah, who who do you who would you like to see on the show uh, coming up in twenty twenty two? Uh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, you heard my son Eddie. Man, that's a big big ask, but hey Eddie, hey man, sky's the limit, man. We uh, my 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 son, shout out Malachi, say he want Eddie Murphy to come on the show this year. Say you want him to come as Norbit or you want him to come as uh. Uh, Riz Fuchsius. Anyone? Or Professor Clump? Or that boy done been Dr. Doola, all kind of stuff, he's man. In, that dude's fan. He's dope, man. A whole thing. He's a dope. That's a dope choice. I'd love to have Eddie on. Who would you like to see? If you could pick anybody. Uh, I can't just name one. Okay. I do like a couple. They went off the Probably, top of your head. Uh, Sauce Walker or Mike Epps. Sauce Walker not a big ass. We almost had him, man. We was trying what, to get what, Sauce Walker, what, man. What, we love Sauce what, Walker. What, I guess Mike Epps, then. Mike Epps, but well, Sauce Walker is. I mean, we just got to keep on hitting, up, hitting up his people. And hey, Sauce, you heard my son. My son say he wants you on the show, man. On Boss Talk One Hundred and One with a boss's talk, man. So you said who else did you say? Mike Epps. Mike Epps, man. Dope cup. Hey, man. Faison Love came through. He, I say he he hold the title and want to be in the funnies. Him and. Him and Chee Nas Myron and uh, Jesse McDonald, man, mm -hmm. the comedians that came through, man. Some niggas was funny and they wasn't even comedians, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I say, um, like, guys, um, man, I want to say, first of all, man, special shout out, special shout out to my wife, man, uh, official Miss Jamaica. Um, shout out to Money Moses, uh, my co host, man. Uh, you guys came in and dug down, man, and made some things happen this year. Um, came in and 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 you know we we did it, man. We done it as a team. We did it together, man. So I want to shout y'all out, man, for holding it down a whole entire year. Um, constantly coming when it was tough, when times got a little tough, y'all went with the tough gets going attitude. So uh, shout out to Money Moses. Shout out to the official Miss Jamaica Wade. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, just just a dope year, man. And uh, can't wait to see what 2022 do, man. Uh, we got a lot of different scheduled appointments, man. Big names. You guys are going to trip. Y'all guys going to trip. Y'all don't even know. Y'all thought 2021 was something. If you're a true fan and you've been watching us and it was 400 and some episodes and you can say, man, I honestly watch Boss Talk like that. Bro, wait till you see what we have in store for this year. Another person I would like to see on here is Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. My son just called for you, man. Kevin Hart. Here he is again. He said he wants you on the show so he can make things go. Kevin Hart, man. That boy funny. Who else? That's, I, you just coming up with stuff. No, that's it. That's it? Yep. Why you name it comedians? Because I'm going to laugh. Oh, you want to laugh? <laughs> um, so, um, who, who surprised you that we got him on the show this year? Nobody surprised you? Not really. Man, you did a great job too, man. All the people you've been reaching out to, 
um, it take a skill to do that as well. You know what I'm saying? To reach out to the people like you've been doing, man, and hugging to show up like you've been doing, saying, hey, man, let's get this person, let's get that person. Uh, motivating me when I was probably not feeling to even do something. So thank you, and thank you, Mal. You set cameras up all year. Uh, guard, you, guard the door. Guard the door. <laughs> fall asleep on the show. All that good stuff. Everything that you did this year, we want more of it next year. It was so important. <laughs> And shout out to Shamaria and Chastity, my my other my two daughters, man. Hey man, and my grandkids. I love you guys, man. Merry Christmas to you guys, man. Uh, I know you down there in Colleen. I don't know what we sent. I just know money was spent. So, hey man, you know, uh, hey man, uh, LJ, that's Leota's Junior, Phelan and Lauren. You guys are dope, man. Dopest, dopest kids that that's out right now. That's coming from the big boss, man. The 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 GP. Are you with me, man? You should get them on the show. I might get them on the show this year. If they can talk, their mama gonna bring them down, right? Oh, they can talk now. They can do that if they can't do nothing else. So, man, thank you guys for tuning in. We just wanted to get on here and say Merry Christmas. So, man, say Merry Christmas to the people. Y'all, what y'all get Merry on here? Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, <laughs> man. Holla at your boy, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man.